Hey y'all, Bunkle here again. Hope you're having a great day. Today was absolutely a blessed one, the way I look at it. Every day is. Uh, some days they might appear to be more than others, but you never know. Uh, I mean, even if some bad things happen, if some negative comes into your life, uh, it all ends up, I think, down the road, something that you look back and say, you know what, if that didn't happen, well then this good might not have happened. So just something to keep in mind. The attitude I tend to take towards a lot of things. So um, I don't I don't really post many videos uh, that you see me in. So now you get to put a face with the voice behind the scene here. Uh, I know I I've been told that I have a face made for radio, but uh, whatever it's it's all good. Uh, I I know I won't be the the weirdest looking person or the non-weirdest looking person or whatever the case might be and uh i told you i'm gonna be switching things up a bit as i go so i was out at a thrift shop earlier today uh same thrift shop i'll post a link to the video down below uh that i picked up a couple commons a couple boxes of baseball cards that were marked uh baseball commons and baseball stars and commons um it, it was kind of a mixed bag of uh, I mean, I had fun going through them. I hope you enjoyed uh, having fun watching it or getting a laugh out of the purchase I made. Um, it neither here nor there. Um, sometimes even uh, packs or boxes that you might open might not contain anything all that good. And I think the, the value that I got out of those boxes, uh, not necessarily because of star cards, but the, the time that I had going through it, uh, they, they bring back great memories. So I was in that same thrift shop today. And uh, spoke to the manager there who made a mention that they did have more cards in boxes in the back. So, of course, me being the masochist I am, uh, I'm going to take the camera off here for one second. Uh, just so you get a look. What I have here are 12 800 count boxes, and they appear to be part of the same collection dump. Um, although some of the cards, are, some of the boxes are marked a little bit differently. And that handwriting definitely looks different than this handwriting. Uh, some of them are marked on the outside. And uh, anyway, as I tend to do, even a thrift shop, uh, these were all red dotted, which meant that, according to the manager, that they were going to be on the floor uh, or they were going to be out for, as they said, 40% off. So I did a little bit of quick calculation in my head, and I said, listen, instead of you putting them out or trying to dish them off, uh, why don't I offer, and I offered $3 a box, half price, uh, for all 12, and I walked out with all 12, obviously. So, there's going to be a bunch of videos lined up down the road. I'm going to connect this back in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Battle of the Boxes or something similar to that. Um, we'll see exactly all that, how all that works out. But yeah, it was, a, in my mind, a good purchase. So, over 10,000 cards. So, when I say giant purchase from thrift shop i kind of mean ten thousand cards is pretty big one shot purchase so uh, i don't know maybe some of y'all buy cards uh just in bigger lots and uh i know that there was a time that i would definitely buy out collections that were 10 20 30 thousand cards at a time um i may end up doing that again it really depends on what i come across uh if there's a yard sale garage sale thrift shop who knows um, that I get a chance to do that at, uh, I'll definitely end up doing it and you'll catch it here on the tube. Uh, it's all part of Bunkle's world. So anyway, just, uh, wanted to let you know about this purchase and, uh, there will be, as I said, subsequent videos, uh, that go up about this purchase. Um, whether good, bad, ugly, indifferent, whatever the case might be, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun going through all this and I believe that y'all will also. So make sure you come back, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all of that. And whenever I'm posting a video that's relevant to these, whether it's a battle of the boxes or just a straight box opening, um, I'll definitely keep you posted. I mean, this one in particular, I'm kind of interested in because it's also marked 1990 Upper Deck High Series 701 to 800 Upper Deck Final Edition Studio by Leaf 92 and 93. So, who knows? There might be some good stuff in there. That's the only one that's marked that way. Everything else is just pretty standard. It's all 
taped up, boxed up, no more markings or anything else on there. And that's the same on all of them. Uh, this one appears to have been marked at one time. And some of them look like they might be older boxes compared to newer. Uh, some of them have separated top. Some of them are side open, those types. So, again, I'll figure out, I'll work out how I'm going to do the comparison between all of these. So, again, I will make sure to keep you all posted. Uh, might be a couple boxes a week. Might be, I don't know. But uh, I, I will be opening most, if not all, of these uh, right here on my channel. So, again, I, I hope you enjoy the content I'm bringing so far. Um, and uh, anything else that comes. Uh, as I said, this is a variety channel. It's going to be a variety channel. Sure, there's going to be a lot of sports stuff. But there's going to be general life stuff. And uh, you know what? If I can make your day a little bit brighter, well, then so much the better. Uh, anyway, it's great seeing you. Now you see me again. Uh, I will definitely catch you soon. Uh, bunkle out. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye for now.